My name is Jordan Parvex, and I am a gay man. One night, I had come home from traveling, and I was about to come out to my mother, who's not very supportive. I walked to go visit my sister, and I opened the door, and I found all of my siblings um, had flown out there to support me in coming out to my mom. I did not expect all of them to be there. I just told them so they knew basically what was going to go down, and that you know my mom would be probably in a pretty bad mood. These are people who, some of them, are not fully supportive of me being gay. For them to show and to fly thousands of miles to be there for me in the moment spoke louder than the words did a lot of the times. It kind of was beyond my wildest dreams in terms of what my family would do for me. My mom did end up disowning me, and so to have my siblings there um, and help me through a time that was really dark for myself. Uh, it's something that I'll never be able to repay them for. My little sister is 13 years old and she lives with my mother. My little sister was allowed to have contact with me after I came out, but it was very limited to phone calls that were being monitored by my mom. There was a phone call I received a few months after coming out to my mom where my little sister told me that she didn't want to talk to me anymore because she felt like I was living a wrong life and that I was disgusting. I knew that those words weren't coming from her. She's really young, really susceptible to other people's opinions. I knew that that kind of hatred and, and hurtful rhetoric was coming from my mom. It's when I realized that I don't always get to control other people's reactions to, to who I am, and that sometimes in the process of living the most authentic life I can live, I will encounter hatred from, from that kind of comes in all different forms. It's when it became really real that this isn't just an older generation, that these kinds of really hateful and angry messages are being passed on to younger people who are going to form the world and, and change things or, or make them you know, better or worse. They have that power. And so it was, it was the first time that I saw that how those messages get passed on and how strong those can be. I think a time that I felt the most inspired was when I had first released um, a project of mine called The Gay Book Club, but someone had posted on their Instagram about reading the book that, that I had suggested. And with it, this beautiful message about how it showed them that people can change and that they shouldn't give up on themselves or give up on other people. And this person was maybe 16 or 17. And it, I think, was such a hopeful message and something that I wish every 16-year-old or 17-year-old felt, especially LGBT. It's so hard when you're at that age to feel so different and perhaps to not have the support and to not see that end of the tunnel. And so to hear or to see someone verbalize the way that I was hoping that the message would be put out really meant everything to me. And it, it told me that what I was doing was more important than just for myself. Being yourself and being authentically happy is the greatest act of rebellion you can ever have. You are so worth your happiness and love and life and to be your genuine self regardless of what other people think. The moment that you compromise your health or your, your happiness with yourself is a moment that you have to evaluate where you're going. And so I think it is so important to, to have a relationship with yourself that is positive and to be able to look at yourself every day in the mirror and say, I love you. I know I'm worth it, and I'm going to live my day the best way that I can. We need to stand in solidarity with each other, and we need to be more interested in how each of us is growing and learning about our community than I think we currently are. There's so much history, and, and there's so many stories that need to be heard and remembered. For us, 
To get to where we want to go, we need to know where we've been. Starting with these stories and with the message of solidarity and compassion and loving yourself, not being ashamed of who you are. I think that's a place that we need to start and we need to hold hands together in order to move forward and show the world that we are a strong community, that we're a loving community, and that we don't just care for ourselves, but we care for everybody. We have the opportunity to be such a great example, especially in a time like this. And now's our time to really step up and show everybody who we are as the LGBTQ community.